Hi everyone. Right, today's art journal prompt is sing. Um, I want to use this bird, which is another cutout from wallpaper for my main focal image. And um, I might even use a couple of these butterflies um, as well. I'm not sure yet, but I want to use, I've just um, got this urge to use up scraps. And I think I've shown you this before. This is a basket of scraps that I keep um, on the bookcase just by my desk. Um, and I've pulled out a few bits and bobs. I've just added a, another one there of things that I think might go um, with the colour of my bird. I've got some leaves that I cut out. These were from the Desigual bag that um, I picked up when I was in Spain. I was making um, more flower embellishments yesterday. Um, and these are some of the leaves from the Tim Holtz tattered garland die so I might use some of those I'm not really sure yet but I'm going to sort of glue a bit of a collage down um, on my page um, I think I might use some of this as well um, let's just get rid of the border around the edge I'm really not sure I'm just going to go with the flow and see what um, I end up right let's move those out of the way I think I'm just going to slap some Mod Podge down I think first and um, and let's see let's grab Let's grab a brush. Um, I've really got no idea today where this um, is going. All I know is that I want to try and incorporate some of these, these bits and bobs and maybe a bit of ink, maybe some ink of gold. Um, I don't know. Um, right, okay. Is that... Um, this is a piece left over, I do believe, from um, the hymnal sheet that, um, that I got from Patricia. Right, and then let's have a look and see what else we want to do. As I say, I've got some of these papers here that I thought um, I might want to glue down. I just want to rough up the um, edges a little bit. Um, right, so that's that one. And then I've got this one here, which if I just tear off some from the, the side, I can probably slide that in under, underneath. Let's have, a, let's have a look if I can maybe have some like that maybe a bit like that let's put some more glue down and see what we see what we end up with right there we go that's but I can have that hanging off the is that no I won't I shall there we go and then I want to have some sort of going across here like this let's tear this one Let's have that going across there. Something like, like that. And then I've got this bit here as well, um, which I quite like. Let's tear a piece of that off and have some of, some of that on. As I say, no rhyme or reason with them, um, with this well and truly making it up as I go along. That's obviously off the a spiral bound um, notepad of some description. And then I think I might have some of these um, leaves coming, coming down as well. Let's add some more. As I say, I'd cut these from a desigual bag, um, obviously with a plan in mind that um, I think I'd um, abandoned. Can't even remember what I was um, trying to do. <laughs> I have these ideas sometimes and then um, they don't look right and I give up or I change my mind. So right, okie dokie, that's looking um, quite cool. I like that. Right, now I just want to add um, a little bit of um, gesso, not um, too much, just quite a, a thin coat here, but I just need to um, because I've used Mod Podge to glue all these bits down, I just need a bit of tooth for the um, ink that I want to use. I, I can't decide whether I want to use ink or paint. So if I just put a bit of gesso over the top, that will create a key for me to work on and just tone everything down sort of in the background as, as well. So I'm liking liking that. Right, so that's all dry. I did end up adding just this little piece of uh, music paper hymnal sheet down here as well. And what I want to do now is I want to put some blocks of um, 
Distress Ink down. Um, you could use watercolour um, markers for, for this as well if you wanted to. What have I done with my spray bottle? There it is. So I've just um, inked up um, my, this is just an acrylic stamp pad and I'm going to put one blob down, down here. I'm just going to press that on. There we go. And I'm going to do the same um, again. In fact, let me just stamp that off because I want to do it in a in a different colour. I want to do it in pink. Um, what have I done with my baby wipe? There we go. So put the lid back on, on that one. And then I've got um, the picked raspberry here as well. So I'm going to ink this up with picked raspberry. I just thought this might be a little bit different. I'd seen it somewhere, somebody making um, a card and doing this and I thought, oh, So let's stick some colour there as well. Yeah, it's added a bit of um, colour, I think, because I've got um, so many bumpy layers on. I think I might do some more of the um, the peacock feathers as well. Um, right, there we go. Put the lid back on that one and give that one another spritz. I think I might have some more here. There we go, I'm liking that. That's added a, a bit of colour. Um, I could spritz with water, make it run a bit if I wanted to. Well, that's pretty. There we go, I like that. Let's try and break the blockiness of, the, of that up. Oh, you see, that's better. spread and and run a I little think bit. I want a bit of um, colour here too. Um, let's just add a, a bit on the stamp pad. Just add it. There we go. Just oh yeah that's nice because that's run into the um, cutout of the of the flower. Let's have some there too. Let's there we are. Yes, you see, I like... The, oh, I'm really glad now that um, I glued that extra one on as well. Right, so I'm going to dry this and then I'll decide where I'm going to go next. This is how my page is looking at the moment and I'm just absolutely loving it. It's just it's just so pretty. But I think that I'd like to add um, a few splatters. So I've grabbed a couple of colours of the um, pearlescent FW inks and I'm just going to give them a shake to make sure that I've got all the pigment mixed up. Um, let's go for the green first. Let's move that out of the um, way. And I've got my splatter brush. This was the one that um, I had in my Happy Mail from Linda Cooper Pierce. And so I am just going to... If I put some of the green there, you see that's lovely. Yeah, that's what it needed. Um, let's rinse that off, put the lid back on. And then I want to do, do the same, I think, with a bit of the um, purple too. Hang on, let's bring in a baby wipe. And go in with the um, purple and do the same, the same there. You see that is just really pretty. If I just do it, oh, that's just gorgeous. I love that. Stop, Nina, don't spoil it and overdo it. Right, okay, put the lid back on there too um, and I did think that I'd like a little bit of gold but um, I don't know um, do I want some gold or will that completely um, spoil it I have got um, this is the Sennelier gold um, let's just put a little blob um, on, I've got a piece of uh, parchment paper to my right hand side here. Um, 
Let's clean that off. Oh, let's go for it. In for a penny, in for a pound. Yes, you see, I like that. That's um, that's just added a bit of something too. Okay, so this is how my page um, is looking. And I think I want my bird something like that. So I'm going to grab the Mod Podge um, again and a um, piece of parchment paper here. In fact, I'm going to put the glue on the, on the back um, of the bird. I'm using Mod Podge. But again, this bird um, is just cut from a piece of uh, wallpaper from home base here in, in the UK. So I've had some fantastic focal images from, from wallpapers, haven't I? Right, let's just move that bit out of the way. So I want my bird something like, like that. This is the inside, the wax paper from a cereal box. It's the stuff that the cereal is actually wrapped in and um, it's brilliant for just making sure that um, your pieces are, are glued down pro properly. Just grab a palette knife over here and just make sure that um, that's nicely secured down. Right. And then, do I want a couple of butterflies? I've got some leaves here as well. And I was thinking that maybe I'd add some of these to um, the branches. Um, they've got a hole in, um, but that's fine. That really doesn't, doesn't matter. Because um, they were cut from the Tim Holtz um, garland, tattered garland. And what else have I got? Have I got any other green ones? So I could put that one there and another one there maybe. Yeah, and I think that just finishes it off nicely. So I think I shall, and do I want a small one as well? That might be a bit too, too much. I think I'll leave it with the two. Right, okay, so let's um, glue this down as, as well. And then do I want to add um, any of these Butterflies. I've got that one there and this one here. And I must admit that does look quite sweet. Let's go for it. And I'm just working on my piece of parchment paper off to the side here. So I'm going to have that one glued on there, I think. I'll have this one over here. Some glue on the um, back. And again, I'm going to do the same thing with the wax paper. Now I've just gone round the outside of the leaves with my Stabilo All pencil just to um, highlight those a little bit, um, being really loose and quite scribbly about it. And then I've grabbed some of my Prima um, water soluble oil pastels as well. And I just want to go over um, some of the detail on the, on the bird, just to bring a bit of extra colour um, into, into this. like this and then I can sort of you know take my finger and just really lightly um, blend blend that just to add a little bit more colour to the bird and then I think I'll come in here with some of this um, blue here can add some different shades of blue in there. And 
and just blend that with my with my finger. I hope my head's not um, in the way for you there. And then I can add some white here, a bit of white perhaps on the on the eye. And seeing as I've got some pink in there, we might as well sort of add a, a little and go with the go with the flow. I've got some of the blue left on my finger too, but that's that's fine. And you see, there we go. That's um, brought a bit of life. And then I can do the same then. I can go round the outside with my Stabilo ball. So here we are, Art Journal Prompts, week 41, Sing. Um, I've gone around the edges of my mixed media paper with the Distress Ink in Peacock Feathers, just using a makeup sponge, just to create um, a little bit of a border. And I love that, it sort of adds to the kind of romantic feel. I used the Dina Wakeley Scribbly Birds um, quote, keep a green bough in your heart and perhaps a singing bird will come. I just stamped that onto a piece of mixed media paper um, I can't find the stamp, it's um, buried somewhere on my desk, never mind. Um, but, um, but that's it, give me a thumbs up if you liked that and let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I really look forward to, to seeing what you come up with as well with the prompt sing. Um, anyway, take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.